We will start to create that asset with the help of cube. So cube is there. And now go to the orthography view and then edit mode. And turn on your extra mode, select these faces and then delete these faces. You will get something like this. Now just need to select these edges and then control B and then add bevel on these edges. You need to add 6 segment bevel at there and give the proper bevel width. Now it's look something like this. The next thing you need to add a cylinder. So shift A add a cylinder and this time we will go with the 24 words. So just give the count 24 at there. Okay, now you need to rotate that cylinder into the 90 degree and you need to give the right position to it. So in this way you need to give the right position to it. Okay, and just take that cube little bit up. Then you need to scale that cylinder along the Y axis. So S and then Y. Okay, now it looks something like this. So just select that cube and we want to add a thickness on it so select everything E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal or you can press alt s to scale it along its normal and you need to give the proper thickness at there. You need to give the thickness according to the cylinder means you need to match the thickness of that cube two faces of that cylinder. So you can see I am trying to match that thickness so I can easily use the boolean operation at there so that's why you need to give the proper thickness and you can take the help of that cylinder as a guide then it will looks like this okay now you need to add one edge at there on this cylinder as like this then you need to select both the objects and use the boolean operation which is the union okay now you need to apply that boolean modifier and then you can delete that cylinder because that was the double object at there and you will get something like this the next thing you need to select everything and press M and merge by distance double words will get merge so you need to merge the double words so we can create a right topology at there now just check these words if there will be any double words so just merge it now you can select these faces and then delete these faces now you can select these faces and then press S, Y and give the value 0 to scale them along the Y axis and make it flat along the Y axis. Then you can select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then select that face and then press I for the insert operation. And now you can select everything and mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. And now that's look good. You can see we got a basic form at there which looks pretty well. Now just take this object little bit up on the floor. And then you can select these faces and you can delete these faces. Then you can add the mirror modifier at there. Select these faces and then delete these faces and take the symmetry along the Y axis with the help of mirror modifier. So now just we need to work on this part and we can take the symmetry along the x and y axis and we can reduce our efforts so you can see here is a double h so just control x to dissolve this double h so you need to do with all the double edges you need to dissolve this double edges and then you can add the loop cut like this then use the h slide to give the right position to that loop cut and then add a few loop cuts at here and then you need to add one loop cut here and another loop cut at here. Then you need to add few loop cuts at here. Now just you need to select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. And create a path in between the words. Then you can use the knife tool and you can create a cut like this. So just you need to select the first point and then select the second point and then press enter to complete that operation and use the knife tool and create a cut like this. Ok now just select these words and create a cut in between these words with the help of knife tool and just try to create that loop structure. Then you can select these edges and then control X to dissolve these edges. So we can create that loop structure. 
okay now that looks pretty well then you can add few more loop cuts at there and add one more loop cut at here similar kind of loop cuts you need to add at there so just you need to add the supportive loop cuts to maintain the form of the model and to maintain that structure and then you can add the sub d modifier and just turn off that auto smooth so just go to the normal and then turn off that auto smooth so just select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and use the insert operation one more time and then you can dissolve these edges So just select that edge and then Ctrl X to dissolve it. Then select this face and then right click and then loop tool and circle option. Use the loop tool at there and just try to rotate it and give the right position to it. And then use the insert operation one more time. That's looked pretty well but we are facing little bit of pinching at there. So that's why I'm going to dissolve these edges and then you can select these faces and you can scale them along the Y axis. So just Turn on your extra mode and then select these faces and then press S, Y and give the value 0 to scale it along the Y axis. And then you can add new loop cuts at there. And now you can see that looks pretty well. Just increase the sub D count up to 2. And similar kind of loop cuts you can add at the bottom side also. And now you can see the model looks decent. We will try to add more details on it. So you can select that face and then press I for the insert operation. And use the insert operation one more time. And just create a little bit of boolean detail at there. So just extrude inside it. And then use the insert operation one more time. Then you can select the space loops and then press I for the insert operation. Control X to dissolve these edges. And then you can add few more loop cuts at there. Then you can add few loop cuts at here. Then select these faces and then use the loop tool at there. So before that use the insert operation and then loop tool and then circle option. And then individual origin should be on and then scale down them like this and just create a little bit of boolean details at there. And use the insert operation one more time. Select these face loops and then press I for the insert operation. And now just I want to add more details so that's why I need to add few more geo on the model so you can add the loop cuts like this. Then add few loop cuts at here. So you can control X to dissolve that edge loop and then you can add new loop cuts at there. Then select that edge loop and then press S, Z and give the value 0 to scale it along the Z axis and make it straight along the Z axis. Then add few more new loop cuts at there. Select these faces and delete these faces. And then you can fill these gaps by selecting the edges and then pressing F and then fill the gap. And then add more loop cuts at there and just fill these gaps. Just try to give the right position to these edges. And then you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. Okay, in this way you can fill the gap and you can create a little bit of boolean detail at there, cutting details. And then add few more loop cuts which will support that structure. Then just I have added one more loop cut at here, then you can select these faces and press I for the insert operation and then use the loop tool, circle option and create a boolean at there. As like this. Similar kind of boolean you can create at here also. I just want to add more details on the model so now the video is little bit fast. You can add as much detail as you can and you can watch the process to add more details.
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.